You tried to kill your pack. And part of me is having a hard time forgiving you for that. But there's also a part of me that in some sick way is almost proud, Josh. For one small moment, you gave in to your natural urge. You gave in to the wolf. I wanted to talk to you today because I'm a huge fan of being human. And uh, last year, I talked to Sarah Allen on the show. Um, Great. And I, I got to tell you, though, uh, after I talked to Sarah Allen, the episode immediately after she got killed off, uh, <laughs> and now I'm talking oh, to no. you. Oh, no. You're going to curse me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to you, and you've just broken up with uh, with one of the main characters on the show. And So what's your future on the show? What's Nora's future? Do you know that? I mean... I know only as far as we've filmed, which is, I think we've aired episode nine, and we filmed 13 episodes. Right. So I definitely know my future, you know, for the rest of season two. I, I don't know yet what's going to happen in season three, but I can definitely say that so far we have not seen the last of Nora. Okay, well, well <laughs> I, I would expect so, anyway. Um, yeah, exactly. What are your thoughts on the show being human? I mean... I think it's a, uh, <laughs> I'm not biased at all, but I think it's a fantastic <laughs> show. Um, I just think it's really, really cool. I think that the, you know, like hats off to the writers and creators. They've done a really, really fantastic job with it. It's obviously difficult to take a show that already exists. It, it, was, a, it was a British, it was a successful yeah. BBC show, and, and try and, you know, launch it in America, and they've, and they've, Succeeded with flying colors. Season two, it's it, I think uh, being human, it's it's really stepped it up a notch. Uh, you know, there's yeah. the vampire, werewolf, and this ghostly killing going on. It's still a very human show. Uh, yeah, definitely. And the the acting, I think the the level of the acting is is very high, extremely high. Um, and and your your character Nora, tell me about Nora. Well, Nora is for those who don't watch the show, a nurse at a hospital, um, the hospital where, where the, all these characters work. A very, you know, strong, strong-willed, um, mm -hmm. independent woman. Uh, she had a lot of baggage in her past that she was running from that we've now, that has now come to light in season two. Um, very private person. Wasn't looking to sort of fall in love, and next thing you know, she falls for Josh, yeah. a werewolf. Yeah. <laughs> unbeknownst to her that he's a werewolf. Um, just thinks he has major commitment issues that, you know, <laughs> coincide with a full moon. Uh, yeah. Anyway, but yeah, Sounds season kinky. one, they fall in love, um, end up in a relationship together, and at the end of season one, I'm scratched. Right. Uh, spoiler alert. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I'm now, uh, as of season two, right away, season two, I, I also transform into a werewolf. And so it's now this woman dealing with uh, with what it's like to to be a werewolf and all of the mm. <laughs> the complications and everything that comes the with that. Yeah, that come along with it. Well, yeah. I, I kept seeing seeing you go through the process, the the Norris character, and I kept rooting for don't go to the kibbles and bits side. Just say yeah, no to exactly. werewolf. But uh, you you've chosen your path. How weird was it for you to see? Like your character finally morph into a werewolf for the very first time. Oh, in the I was letter. from the moment that I had heard rumors that I, because I mean, because in the British series, the nurse character also turns into a werewolf right away from season one. I was <laughs> afraid that that, <laughs> that slash sort of excited that this my character could go this way, and I knew what it would entail because I'd seen Sam Josh's character. Yeah transform many times and so I was terrified from even like what's it going to be it. about and yeah it, it, and so of course like thinking about it and and knowing how much work it's going to be and also seeing how frightening it'll be to watch etc so I was really nervous um and of course we, we film it and everything's great and I went in to do it went into like the sound studio to do ADR yeah for um I guess you know, uh, a couple episodes after we had filmed, um, and I saw it for the first time in the sound studio. And the guys what, what did it you think? Cool. It was, it was terrifying. Honestly, really? like, yeah, I found it really disturbing, uh, which I thought was <laughs> great. I thought it worked fantastically for the scene, and and I thought they just did such a good job that I really ended up 
I was able to actually separate from myself and feel for Nora and, and what she was going through. Like, I think they did a really good job with it. It was, I was appropriately disturbed at seeing my face transform into a snout. I was able to actually separate and, and, and see with this woman. Was yeah, really, really yeah, cool. yeah. Were you, were yeah. you, um, were you coached on the proper way to look like, you know, to get that transforming done on, I on mean, the show? To a certain degree, I think coach just in the level of pain, like, Literally, imagine your body is ripping apart. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then basically just go for it and see what happens. And know and know throughout that I had these sort of marks that I had to hit. Like at one point, I had to hit my head on the car door, and at one point, I had to, you know, unbuckle my seatbelt. And at one point, I had to literally. I just knew I had to sort of end up looking up at the moon. And, oh, okay. and, and I sort of was just yeah. Pain, just went with it. Go. Let's see what happens. <laughs> now, obviously, w- when you do the werewolf scene and and then the the post werewolf thing, you're in the in the woods naked, tastefully yeah. done, I might add. In order to pull off a scene like that, uh, you as an actor have to be completely comfortable with that, because I know most people looking at body clues, oh, she he or she's not comfortable, and they pick up on that. Yeah. Um, now, when you found out you had to do that kind of scene, did they use a body double, or were you like okay with it, or? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm fine with it because, <laughs> you know, all the important parts are covered. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's very <laughs> so, tastefully so done. So knowing that, I, you know, you're able to just, just, you know, take the leap of faith that everyone, that it's going to look tasteful. And, yeah. and it has, they've done a really good job with it. So, so yeah, no, I've, I've, I've haven't had a hard time just sort of, you know. I, giving I, over 100 percent i have to say that nora's character scares the bejeebers out of me <laughs> you, <laughs> me you, too <laughs> you killed and ate your ex-boyfriend i, I gotta say oh, i know that's i can't help you in any potential new dates that's a real buzzkill you know yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. um and uh, nora's not so regular on the show uh, she and josh going in different directions and nora's chosen the the werewolf way you, you like this feeling and I do. and and she, she's gone in that route um do you get a lot of recognition for being on the show? I mean, not a lot, but but some. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've had some, yeah. Uh, how important is recognition for you? Honestly, I I, uh, I prefer to not be recognized. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's nice, obviously, if someone's like, oh, you know, I'm a fan of the show, but to think of the level of recognition that one can get in this business terrifying. It, it's scary, and and sometimes yeah. like the, the tabloids yeah. and the paparazzi, they're merciless. And I I, I always oh, I know, wonder. I know. I know. I don't know if it's a Canadian perspective or a U.S. perspective on it, but I know from a Canadian perspective, generally speaking, I think Canadians like to give celebrities their space. You know, if we yeah, see definitely. somebody, generally speaking, okay, that, I think that's so and so. We'll let them have their coffee. But I think in the states, it's it's really rabid. Yeah, um, and, and it's funny you ask about recognition. Like it's only ever in the U.S. that, that I do get approached ever in Canada, and maybe that's just it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People are just respecting of others. Yeah, that's that a good thing. Space. But I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, it's just, yeah, I can't imagine what it would be like to have all of your movements tracked and not be able to leave your house without yeah. being followed. It, yeah. yeah, it's, it's like sc- a whole it's other level scary. that I can't even begin there, to. There's, yeah. You're from Ontario. Yes, I am. And there seems to be a fair number of Canadians in the industry in Hollywood. Um, yeah. What is it about Canadians? Do you think that that Hollywood finds attractive? Are we that good? We yeah. Well, first of all, yes, we're just that good. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's you know it's 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 all the fresh air and the clean water. Exactly. <laughs> um, but I I don't know. I think that we're just like a special you know for so much space for so little people in this you know massive beautiful country. I just think that we. We like appreciate the little things in life, and, yeah. and are and are very well educated and 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 knowledgeable about the world and, yeah. and the people around us, and we care about others. And I think that we just get, you know, obviously it's a joke and a bad rap that we're so polite, et cetera. But I think that honestly, if you're a really nice person, you you it takes you a long way, especially in this business. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta gotta you get, get along with, well people. with others, yeah. and. Yeah, I just think that we're, you know, ta- a talented bunch. Yeah. W- <laughs> yeah. W- when did you realize? Like, you're from uh, which town in Ontario? Uh, originally, I grew up in a town called Red Lake. Red Lake. Ontario. And how did you it's get a... into acting? And, and, and when did you realize that acting was something you could actually make a living at? I mean, for as long as I can remember, it's something I wanted 
to do, like to try. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, guess, I think I, as soon as I knew that you could was probably, you know, as a child, when you become conscious of that people do this as a job, from that moment on, I knew it was something I wanted to try to do. It's yeah. funny, my mom is actually the drama teacher in the only high school in the town that I grew up in. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, from an early age, I was around theater and her directing plays and making costumes. So we had this room in my basement that was just like, never mind a tickle trunk, it was like a room full of costumes. A room so full of costumes, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, was, it was a and calling I, for you. Yeah, and yeah. so I wanted to, to, and I did theater my whole life, and I and I knew I wanted to pursue it as a career, and I was always very, you know, scholastic growing up, and I wanted to get a degree, so I went to university and got my degree in theater, and, and yeah, I think the moment I realized I actually could do it, because there's a difference between wanting to try to do it. Yes, and exactly. You can. Exactly, yeah. Which is, but I was fortunate that right out of theater school, I was lucky enough to to get work right away and it and you know and I, and I kept getting work and so I was like you know what there's something I can do and yeah. it's all my hard work has paid off and yeah so I count my lucky stars every day that I'm getting work but yeah so you you have to have uh it's the it factor right you have to have something that uh yeah, that I, the producers you. want and, and you have you have, you have a look about you what have you been told about your look uh, about I mean, what you bring to a role I guess I guess I, I don't know. I I get comparisons often to like Laura Linney as an actress and that uh-huh. kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I haven't been told a lot specifically about about my look. Well, you're um, getting you're getting the work. So oh, what's the matter? You know, everything's going yeah, fine. Yeah, so I'm not going to ask questions. I'm just <laughs> okay, now yeah. not, not to be typecasting you here, but I mean, you're in a a, a series about a, a werewolf. Uh, um, <laughs> A ghost and a vampire, and you're doing your first movie is a, is a zombie movie, right? Oh, I, it's actually not. It's actually like my eighth movie. Oh, your eighth movie. I was looking on yeah. IMDb and I saw the all saw all these TV credits, and I I, I didn't oh, no, know that was no, your eighth no, movie. Not, yeah, it's probably about my eighth. Film, oh well, you're an old pro at this. You're yeah, an old right. hand at this. Uh, yeah, but but of course it's, a, right. it's a called a little but bit zombie. The genre is familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but it, it's funny though. My other films all, also have been, uh, you know, there's been a few in that genre. <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, it was great. It was a Canadian film as well, uh, Canadian independent film. Yeah, we shot in in Sudbury, Ontario, in the month of June when the bugs are just atrocious. Yeah, you're out in the, the woods, woods for this thing, right? Yeah, <laughs> so it was you know that unto itself was a huge challenge. But yeah, it's it's not a typical zombie movie. It's a. Uh, it's funny. I watched the trailer. It's, funny. it's hilarious. Exactly, and yeah. the premise is you know this guy, my brother, gets stung by a mosquito that's infected with a zombie virus, and then slowly throughout the film starts to turn into a zombie, and we're like, what? Are you, he's telling us that he thinks he's a zombie, and we're like, there's no such thing as zombies, and then sure enough, he's a zombie. And yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a really fun. When fun is that film, movie? Actually. I saw what? it for the first time. When's, early February, because it was the Canadian gala opener of the Victoria International Film Festival. Oh, okay. And when is that ex- expected to be in theaters? Or to be I'm released? not 100% sure, because it's still doing the film festival circuit. So okay. I would imagine in the fall, perhaps, perhaps in the fall. Yeah. But I do have a film, actually, that I should be promoting, uh, opening in theaters across Canada on March 30th. That is called Servitude, another Canadian independent film comedy about a bunch of uh, waiters that are sick of the business that take over their restaurant in one night of fury. <laughs> yeah, occupy the restaurant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Excellent. I look forward to that. That's 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 perfect, Kristen. Um, yeah. Um, so no word yet on on when you're coming back. Which uh, which episode for uh, for season two I mean, on being human? I don't know if I can say, oh, but I but I. Definitely stay tuned because I'll be back soon. Back soon. <laughs> I, I saw in the last episode Jay Baruchel was uh, yeah, was one of the yeah. ghosts. Oh, that's a coup! I mean, it's being filmed. It's is it mostly in Montreal now? Yeah, I mean the series shoots in and around Montreal. Yeah, uh, Montreal being the base, you know, like in the main city, and then we'll travel within an hour here and there if we have to get you know exterior locations or a special building somewhere. But yeah, right. Montreal is the headquarters. Much, I mean, it looks great. Uh, the town of Montreal looks great. I mean, uh, it, it could be Boston. It's sort of the same sort yeah, of exactly. stonework, the same it, it kind of construction. Very well. 
And it looks really good. Kristen, I do appreciate your time today. Uh, anything else sure. going on that, uh, like, oh, yeah, maybe I should ask you this. Okay, where to now? Like, if you had your ultimate career gig land in your lap, what would you like to be doing? Maybe who would you like to work with? Oh, wow. Um, I mean, tell, I, I, you know, originally I would have said I want to do film because there's, you know, then you're always, just, you're always changing up your jobs mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you never feel stagnant in a role. It's always challenging, et cetera. But television these days is so fantastic. Yeah, so, so the level. so much, but honestly, I just want to do work that inspires me. So be it film or TV, just really good work that challenges me, that, I, that I'm proud of. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's so, many, there's so many fantastic directors I'd love to work with from, you know, like the greats, like, you know, Martin Scorsese. Oh, gosh, like yeah. Sophia Coppola, you know. Like, it, it's a cool industry to be in. Yeah, but it's even cool. in Canada, like I'd love to do David Cronenberg's films, and mm -hmm. and you know, there's so many fantastic directors uh, that I'd love to work with. But, yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, good luck to you, Kristen. I do appreciate your time today, and I look forward to seeing how Nora evolves and who she eats next on Being yeah, Human. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Me too. <laughs> thanks for your time. All right. Thanks for talking.